Hello everyone, welcome back to Shaw Code. In this video, we're going to be adding images to our sprites in Pygame. So let's get right into it. So last time, we had our red square that could move around, and we also added in a wall class, and we created our tile map. We're going to be adding images to our sprites. We won't just have red and blue squares, we'll actually have some images. So, um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to actually get our images downloaded. Now in the Pygame RPG file that my code is in. I've got this folder called IMG, and in there we have all our pictures. So we have an attack sprite sheet, this is going to be used later, our character sprite sheet, our enemy sprite sheet, two backgrounds, and a single character, as well as some terrain right here. So make sure you have these downloaded, I'll provide a link in the description, um, and make sure you put them into the IMG folder. And once that's done, we can go into the sprites file, we can start adding an image to our player. Firstly, we need to actually load in the image so Pygame knows where to look. So we can do image to load equals pygame.image.load and it's a function and the parameters, it's a single parameter and it's the location of the file. So we need to do img slash single.png. We're looking in img, so we're looking in this folder and then in there we're looking for single.png. So now that we've loaded in the image, we actually need to draw the image to our surface. So instead of filling the surface, we can draw that image to self.image. So self.image.blit, blit is the function to draw the image that we've loaded in onto a surface. We're going to blit image to load, and the second parameter is the position where we're going to blit it to. So we're just going to put it at the top left corner of the surface. Now if we run it, we can see we've got a little character. As you can see, the background is actually black surrounding him. So we can fix this with a function. We can do self.image.set underscore color key. And we can set it to black. And this set color key, um, basically what it does is it makes the specified color transparent. So because we've set black to be transparent, the black background won't be seen anymore. As you can see there, we no longer have that black background surrounding it. So there we go, we've got our image. However, there is actually an issue with this. If you remember in the original game, when we were moving around, we actually had some animations to our character. And we must have had like 20 images that were loaded. And imagine if we had to load in 20 images by doing pygame.image.load. That would take a long time, not only to code, it would also slow down the game a lot. So we can fix this by just loading in one image that contains all the animations for our game, which is what we have here in our character sprite sheet. So you can see we've got all the animations that our character needs in one image. And then what we can do is we can sort of cut out that image so that only the uh, correct one is um, drawn. So to load in the sprite sheets, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new class in the sprites file. And I'm going to call this uh, class sprite sheet. And it's not going to inherit from anything. And then we'll just have an init method. And it'll need self. And we're also going to have a parameter of file. Which file are we going to be loading in? And then we can do self.sheet equals pygame.image.load. And then we're going to be loading in the file that we've passed up here. So self.sheet is just the loaded image. And what we're going to do is we're going to do convert. It basically just loads the image in a lot faster, so our game won't be slowed down. And now that we've done the init method, we can have another function called get sprite. What this method is going to do is it's going to like cut out from the sprite sheet. So you can imagine we have our sprite sheet, and what's it? What it's going to do is it's just going to select the individual sprite that we need from the sprite sheet. So get sprite, it's going to need self, x, y, and width, width, and and height. We can do sprite equals pygame dot surface and it's going to be a surface with the width and height specified. So it'll probably just be 32 pixels by 32 pixels. But we're creating a surface and we're saying it's width to width and height to height and we're calling it sprite. And then what we want to do is we want to blit self dot sheet we want to blit self.sheet onto the surface, onto the sprite surface. And where do we want to do it? Well, we want to do it in the top left corner of the um, of the surface. And the third parameter that we have here, it's a tuple, and it's going to be x, y, width, and height. 
And basically, XY width height, this tuple right here, it selects a cutout from the um, loaded image. You can imagine that we've loaded in character.png right here, and then we're creating a surface, and then we're blitting onto that surface this entire image, except that we don't want to blit the entire image, we only want to draw a certain section. Imagine X and Y right here were set to zero, so we'd be looking right here, and width and height would be 32, so we'd have a rectangle going around this sprite. And that's what this third parameter does, it sort of creates a cutout for us. And then once we've drawn onto the surface, we just want to return the sprite surface. Don't forget we need to set the color key of it so we don't have a black background. So we can do set color key and we can have black. And there we go. So that's our sprite sheet class. And now what we need to do is we need to load in the sprite sheets. So in the init method of the game class, we can do self dot character sprite sheet. And it'll be a sprite sheet object. And the one parameter that we um, specified in the init method is file, so it's going to be at img slash, uh, it was character.png. Okay, and now let's also load in the terrain sprite sheet. We're going to be loading in this um, sprite sheet of terrains. So we can do self dot terrain sprite sheet equals sprite sheet. And we can do I img slash terrain dot png. Now that we've created those sprite sheet objects, what we want to do is we're going to actually draw the image from the sprite sheet onto our um, player class. So let's get rid of this as well as um, as well as this as well as this. So we just have our surface, and we actually no longer need pygame.surface right here because we're going to be getting our image from the sprite sheet. So we can do self dot image equals self dot game dot character underscore sprite sheet. So we're referring to this um, character sprite sheet object right here. Dot get underscore sprite. So we're going to be calling this method here, and we're going to be setting it to the return value here. So we're basically just going to be getting the um, cutout, and the um, we have to pass in x, y, and width and height. So looking at this image, we can see it's not actually at the zero zero mark, is it? X is three and Y is two. This top left corner is going to be three pixels along and two pixels down and it's going to be 32 pixels by 32 pixels. So we need the x is 3, and the y is 2, and the width is 32, and the height is 32. But instead of writing 32 and 32, we can just write self.width and self.height. So now that we've got the image, we should be good to go. Pi game is not defined. Yes, I misspelled pi game. So if we run it now, we can see we've got our little character, and we've cut it directly out of the sprite sheet. So now that we've set the image of the player class, how about we set the image of the block class as well? So get rid of this. We can do um, self.game.terrain sprite sheet. It's going to be this rock right here from uh, terrain.png. And we're going to get the sprite. The x is 960, and the y is 448. And the width can just be self.width, which is 32. And the height can just be self.height, which is also 32. Okay, and if we run it now, we can see we've got our rocks. Instead of a blue square, we actually have some rocks. Um, and now instead of just having a black void as the wallpaper, as the background, how about we add in some grass? Um, now for the grass, I'm going to create a new class, and it can just be called class and ground. Um, it's going to be inheriting from pygame.sprite.sprite .sprite, and we'll need an init method and of course it's going to need self and it's also going to need game and x and y. Uh, self.game equals game. We've done most of this before but we're going to set self.underscore layer equal to ground layer and we'll need to define ground layer up here. Uh, ground layer and ground layer is going to be 1, block layer is going to be 2, and player layer is going to be 3. So ground layer is going to be at the bottom, and then above that we'll have block layer, and then on top of that we'll have the player layer. So ground is going to be at the bottom. Then self.groups, self.game.all sprites, and we'll need to do, uh, we'll need to do pygame.sprite.sprite.underscore underscore init, 
So this is calling the init method of pygame.sprite.sprite, which is the inherited class. And uh, we're going to be passing in self as well as self.groups. So this will add the block class into the self.game.all sprites. And now let's just set the x equals to x times tile size. And let's do the same thing for y. Self.y and it's going to be y times tile size. And self.width is going to be tile size and self.height is going to be tile size as well. And now let's set the image. So it's going to be self.image equals self dot game dot terrain it's going to be yeah uh terrain sprite sheet again and it's going to be dot get sprite so we're getting the sprite from the terrain sprite sheet and i'm going to pick out i'm going to pick out one of these grass blocks right here so the position of one of these grass blocks is going to be 64 352 i've figured these out before creating the video um and of course the width is going to be self dot width and the height is going to be self.height. And then we need to just create the rectangle. So we can do self.rect equals self.image.getrect. So that's creating the rectangle from the image. Then we can do self.rect.x equals self.x and self.rect.y equals self.y. And now that we've done that, in our create tile map method, we're just going to create a block object it's going to need self and j and i so the x is going to be j and the y coordinate is going to be i and if we run it now i didn't mean to do that that shouldn't be block that should be ground um but if we run it now we can see we get ourselves some grass and we have our blocks which are rocks so if you have any questions or comments about images in pi game or the sprite sheets in pi game then be sure to leave a comment down below i will reply to you in the next video, we'll either be adding some collisions to our between the player and the rocks, or we might be doing some player animations. Anyway, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.